Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me now. It's been a long time since I've posted a review video and that's basically because I haven't had really anything new to review. So, um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to take a little bit of a break from YouTube and Instagram and all the social medias and all that sort of stuff. So I had a good two or so weeks off there and um, come back refreshed and renewed and I'm still playing catch up on uh, people's videos and I finally got something in the mail today that something new that I can review and as you can see here it is the Hot Toys MMS 483 Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett so um, I already have the Return of the Jedi version of Boba Fett and I just couldn't resist buying this one because I love the Empire Strikes Back. I love Boba Fett. What a combo! I four six three MMS four six three. I, th I think I said MMS four eight three. So, um, yeah. Well, there's the box. There's all the info on the back. And let's crack this thing open and take a look at all of the accessories and the figure. And as you can see, it's the standard Star Wars shoe box design and I love this insert so the first thing that you see when you remove the lid of the box is this artwork insert and it is a photograph of the figure and Darth Julius Vader on uh, Bespin in the carbon freezing chamber it looks really cool so here's a look at the uh, the figure in his clamshell but you can't really see much there because of the glare on the the uh, clear plastic lid so I'll get that off and give you a better look and there he is in all his glory wrapped in plastic on the uh, on certain areas and there's all the accessories I can't really tilt it up too far because everything would fall out but uh, looks very nice and I shall now remove the accessories and give you a closer look at them. Alright so we'll start off taking a look at some of those smaller uh, tool accessories that come with these Boba Fett figures and you can store them in the pouches on the uh, flight suit down around the shin area. So this one is, uh, I don't know what this is called, there's various tools and um, and what do they call them? Sonic beam weapons and anti-security blades and all that sort of stuff um, that allow Boba Fett to get up to his nefarious doings. And I think this one is a uh, just a basic survival knife. And then he also comes with swap out hands, of course. So what was that? I think there was five, five of these things. So he comes with closed fists attached, and then you have a sort of loosely gripping left hand, a relaxed right hand, a trigger grip holding trigger right hand a relaxed left hand and a sort of gripping left hand as well and then he comes with replacement pegs now I was hoping they'd fix this up from the return of the Vet Jedi version and give us grey pegs because I don't know why they made those wrist pegs black but they did it again and then he comes with a Blaster pistol, I should have researched this, I don't know the model number of that blaster pistol. And then he comes with his blaster rifle, and that has been done really, really well. Look at the detail, not just the sculpt, but the way it's been painted, silver dry brushing over it, sort of with that wooden looking stock. That's been done really, really nice. And then it's got a leather strap as well, and I think, I didn't actually play around with that but I think that is adjustable and he also comes with his backpack of course 
looks very nice as far as I can tell this is exactly the same as the Return of the Jedi version as in the sculpt uh, it's just been painted differently comes with those uh, those nozzles are adjustable very green not a lot of weathering on that to be honest but I, uh, I can only assume that is uh, screen accurate and as always you get a a stand and this is the base for the the figure stand now I try not to use or I haven't used any of these to be honest um, they look they're okay they look nice but uh, I, I I've been lucky enough to be able to stand all the figures on their own without having to use these stands this is the upright piece fits into the the base sort of clips in there and then you can adjust the height of the cradle to your uh, to suit your figure and last of all you also get a set of instructions now I never used to I didn't used to read these at all but I find that they do come in very handy because uh, some of these pieces on these hot ties figures can be a little bit dainty and fragile so they normally these instructions normally warn you about them it tells you how to get that bloody backpack onto the clips on the back of the figure which is a real pain in the backside and then it shows you how to uh, where to properly place all those tools on his uh, shins shows you how the range finder on his helmet moves and uh, such so definitely do not ignore those instructions when you get your hot toys figures check them out now on to the figure itself and this thing is fantastic so as I said they previously released hot toys had previously released a return of the Jedi version of Boba Fett but uh, this Empire Strikes Back version is really really great so they've re-sculpted the helmet you can see there he's got the uh, the rangefinder which is articulated um, the helmet is yeah like I said it's a it's a different sculpt it's it's wider down below uh, sort of towards the bottom edge of it um, the paint is all uh, is different as well. Seems to be a lot more weathering on uh, the helmet on the Empire Strikes Back version. Again, I can only assume it's screen accurate. There you can see the uh, the straps at the backpack or the clips that the the backpack sort of attaches to. Really, real, real pain in the ass trying to get those to, to connect. The little cape thing, which I think was a flag, is meant to be a flag or something like that. I don't know. Um, looks really cool weathered tattered it has wires in the edges so you can sort of mold it a little bit to uh, whatever shape you desire the articulation in the head isn't as good as I would have liked to be honest the it's not a, a full human head underneath but whatever head they've used sort of uh, is hindered by the uh, the jumpsuit or the flight suit the you can see how it goes up around the neck there so you can't get a lot of tilt forward and that sort of thing which is a little bit disappointing but um, it's not too bad and you can see the chest armor shoulder armor Wookiee braids uh, blonde Wookiees I haven't seen any blonde Wookiees on the screen I don't know, maybe they had uh, access to peroxide I'm not really sure the uh, left hand shoulder armor there has the uh, the nice Mandalorian symbol on it it sort of sits up a bit higher than the Return of the Jedi version you can see on his uh, cod piece there there's a, a nice big dent um, all I can say is ouch imagine if he wasn't wearing that cod piece what would have uh, happened um, there's the right hand wrist gauntlet and the the left hand wrist gauntlet looks fantastic. There's a lot of fine detail going in there. Those those little pieces on the side there, plastic 
uh, thing sticking out. You'd want to be very careful with those. They could, I think they could easily snap off. Um, I was a bit concerned when I was swapping out the hands whether I'd snap them off or not, but luckily uh, that didn't happen. Uh, so on his waist, you got the the leather or pleather pouches, dark brown pouches, and the, the red sash underneath. Uh, he has a blaster pistol, pistol holster. That is actually hard plastic. I'm not sure why. Um, and it's got that little symbol molded into it, and I still haven't worked out what that says. I need to get a magnifying glass and uh, see exactly what that says. Probably should have done that before recording this audio. Um, I think that that strap, according to the instructions, is removable. But um, it wasn't coming off very easily for me, so I didn't want to force it and break it. I think you can undo that strap there and stick your pistol in and then redo the strap. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll have a play with, around with that later on. I didn't want to force it and break it on uh, camera. That would be extremely embarrassing. Uh, there's the back of the belt, his pants, and uh, his rookie braids getting in the way. There's a quick look at the elbow articulation. That's not too bad. You'd probably even get more if you played around with it. I didn't really uh, play around with it too much, or I haven't yet, but um, as you'll see later on, it's enough to get him some nice weapon holding poses and then it's got those uh, fabric pouches attached to the pleather belt. The jumpsuit is I think it's darker than the Return of the Jedi version and it's a lot dirtier. It's just darker in general, the fabric, and then they've really dirted it up. Um, it looks pretty cool actually. He has those sort of knee knee armour pieces and they're attached with elastic elastic at the back so you can easily adjust them and then his jumpsuit or flight suit ends around the boots with velcro straps and then he's got his uh, boots which I think are pretty much the same as the Return of the Jedi version they've just been painted slightly different I'll do a, a uh, separate companion piece uh, comparison of this version of Boa Fett and the uh, Return of the Jedi version and hopefully post that very soon and then you can see uh, sort of knee articulation there so pretty good so I think this is how I will pose my Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett for now uh, sort of imitating the images on the box and the artwork insert that classic look from the Empire Strikes Back where he's itching to shoot Chewbacca when Chewie's going nuts in the carbon freezing chamber and yeah, uh, really cool look. I, I absolutely love this figure. Um, I'm really glad I picked it up even though I already own the Return of the uh, Jedi version of Boba Fett and yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Alright guys, that was a look at the uh, Hot Toys MMS 463 Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, may the force be with you.